Well, hello there, dearest friends and family. Are you looking for a meal that is a comfort meal but doubles up as a baby food? Well, if that is the case, we've got you covered with this impiho, inuho, or impotompoto recipe. This is what we call pottage in English. Absolutely delicious. Your whole family, even the babies, are going to love this. So simple to whip up, and Mama is going to show you how she makes hers. So we have our cocoa yam. You can normally find this in the Asian supermarket. We also have some tomatoes, peppers, and one large onion. We also have some beef cut up into bite-sized pieces, some smoked mackerel, some herrings and kobe which is uh, salted and sun-dried tilapia for flavor. We have some blended onion and ginger, some shrimp powder and our palm oil. We are going to start off by cooking our meat. This is going to be a one pot dish, so very, very simple to make. So we've put our meat into the bowl. We are adding our ginger and onion paste to that. Rinsed off the bowl with some water. Adding some salt, we cover, and then we bring this to a boil. Now we'll start peeling our cocoa yams. We are back. Obi <laughs> 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 This is So mama is done peeling. This we are gonna put in our compost pile. Ana mama. So mama is going to start dicing the cocoa yam. She wants to do that before we we rinse them because once you rinse it it's gonna be super slippery and it's gonna be hard to work with so big chunks like that Okay, so mama says she's cutting these ones super skinny or thin because she wants them to disintegrate faster so they'll be the ones that will be the mashed up one so hopefully she doesn't have to mash up anything else What do you mean? I'm say to you. Can you smell the aroma? Mama say, can you guys smell the aroma? She wants to know if you can smell the aroma of her meat.
So she sprints this three times and she thinks it's perfect now to cook. Perfect bite sized pieces and it's ready to receive the rest of our ingredients at this point. Mama's ready to add her cocoa yams now. I'm going to rinse the herring and add it in here. So now we are going to break the fish into little pieces and whilst we do that we are also trying to remove all those tiny fish bones. Be careful to get as many of them off as you can visibly see because especially if you are giving it to kids you don't want them to get choked or anything by the fish bones. For babies you would want to make it into actually fish powder or fish meal to make their own meal if you are making it separate for your baby food. Mama is going to add water. You want to bury this with water so it's easy to cook. Mm -hmm. Now she's going to just stir this. Okay. And she's going to put her whole onion and the rest of the vegetables here. So mama cut half of the onion, she says she's going to use the other half to fry the oil, palm oil and we're going to add uh, two peppers and two of the tomatoes. The other two she says she's going to chop it up and put in the palm oil for some chunk. Cover and boil. Mama says she's going to wash the Kobe and put it in water. Okay, boys, now I think she's just gonna soak it on her. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know if it's easy, yeah, I get to see it. Mama is dicing the other half of the onion she saved. This she's going to fry in the palm oil together with the Kobe and the two other tomatoes she saved. And then it will later on go in the Mpotom Potom. Mm -hmm. So, Mama wants some chunk in uh, in Pihu or in Potom Potom so she's gonna dice these tomatoes and add fry it in the oil in here are ready to be blended so we're just bringing them out and then blend so one thing that my mom critiqued about my own input on butter video that I made a few years ago is the fact that I use big chunks of meat in there you know how we young people want to be extra. I wanted it to look more appealing. But what she said was that this is a pottage. You want to eat it with a spoon. So there's no point putting big pieces of meat that you cannot really spoon into your mouth. But you end up having your fingers into it. And that makes a whole lot of sense. 
Mama always knows best. So we are going to add the blended ingredients in now. She's just going to pour that right here in the pot with everything else. Rinse out the blender with some water and add that as well. So now Mama is going to add some shrimp powder or powdered shrimp. This is just smoked shrimp that I've blended to get this powder. We are using this to replace seasoning cubes. If you don't have this and you have seasoning cube or any seasoning of choice that you want to put in there, it's totally up to you. So all the thin pieces of kokoyam that Mama cut up pretty much has disintegrated. You can see we have having some creamy uh, texture with some lumps in it now in our pot so all those little ones are all falling apart so easily we don't even need to use a masher or like traditionally you would have scooped some into your earthenware pot and then blend it we really don't need to do that today so mama's hack really did work So the mackerel has been washed and mama is going to break them up into big chunks after she removed the skin and like she said these are also going to be bite sized so you don't have to pick it up from your food just everything just pulls right into your mouth. Yeah, come out. Texture is perfect. Mama's hack is perfect. So she's just using the back of the wooden spoon to just crush some of the cocoa yams, just bring them uh, to hit the pot. And so that way she's mashing some more. But we're pretty much not going to use an actual masher or an earthenware pot like we would back in the day. Now she's going to add her broken up mackerel. Mix it all in and look at this. At this point, the texture is perfect. Uh, in Pihu, it's looking almost perfect. If you didn't want to add any palm oil to it, well, this would be ready. Just let the fish cook a little longer and that would be it. So now Mama is going to fry her Kobe pieces in the palm oil. She soaked them again in water after she cut it up. So they've given out a lot of their salt. All we actually need is the flavor and fragrance of the Kobe. You could also use Momone, which is going to give you a similar result, but we want to be able to eat that Kobe. So Kobe it is for us, and she's going to fry it until it's almost crispy. Now she's adding her chopped onion. That is the other half of her onion in here. And let it fry a little bit before we add our tomatoes. So pretty much we are making a little bit of a quick sauce that is going to bring a great deal of texture to our potom potom. She's going to add the diced tomatoes now to the onions and Kobe here in the palm oil. And we are not really going to cook it all the way down. She just wants the tomatoes to soften up just a little bit. So our sauce or gravy is done now and we can just introduce it to our impotompoto at this point. The aroma is just amazing. Thank you. 
So Mama is just pouring the palm oil onto the potom potto. She's leaving the chunks of the tomatoes and onions and fried Kobe. This she intends to just put on top of it when everything is done for garnish. Mm. Of course, we're going to eat it. This looks so, so good. If at this point you're not convinced that you want to try this recipe, then I really don't know what to tell you. Kindly go find some yam and try this recipe. We want you all to be buying the yam so the stores don't stop selling them because some of us really, really need it. And I bet you need it, but you don't know yet because you haven't tried this recipe. You're going to be so hooked. Just look at that. Oh, such goodness. This looks so good. I hope you are encouraged to try this. It smells amazing and I bet it tastes amazing as well. Mm, 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 mm. Baby, I Just look at that. Just look. Well, I hope you are able to try this. I know you will love it. Kindly give mama a thumbs up and share. And until I come your way next time with something delicious, be loving, be kind, be happy.